Hello everyone, I think it's time for a brand new rat vehicle. As you can see here, I have my kind of updated lineup, including the rat task, which is the little side-by-side, -side, the rat quad, of course. We have a rat skid steer, even a rat golf cart that's going to be released soon. But we don't have any rat tractors. In fact, I have not made a tractor at all in Stormworks. Unless we want to count this cute little creation. I never released it. It actually doesn't work but it was intended to be a tractor. You kind of see it looks kind of like a lawnmower almost, but it's small. And what I want to build actually intentionally picks up Unicon containers and other stuff. So maybe this will get worked on in the future, but not in this video. I always love to come up with inspiration using existing builds and existing creations as kind of my starting point. So what I'll always do is spawn in some creations that I think are relevant that are going to give me some styling points and when I have them I kind of go with that and start to build what I want now keep in mind I also like to have one of these other creations in here at least for scale so I'll start off with a blank slate kind of like this throw in a seat for good measure and then mold the sides now for the tractor, we are going to want the wheel to be quite large in the back, possibly a 3x3, probably not a 5 in this case. I'm not going that big. One day I may make a larger, um, a larger tractor. In this case, I still want it to be somewhat small and able to fit on trailers and such. So let's start with something like this and then we'll put the wheel in the front here. And of course I have to orientate them later, but I just want to kind of see so that wouldn't work. It has to be even narrower in the front and that's going to start serve as my starting point. All right. It's already looking much better, already like a tractor. I do have sort of some questions and styling things that I'm going to probably throw together. But for now, I mean, that's basically a tractor. I probably want this kind of aggressive front styling and what will be the easiest is to do something like this now i'm going to get into the fine details later on but just as a general idea this and then we have all this area here for the actual um, instrument panels and then down here i'm going to start off with the engine so i'm going to use a modular engine and I'm not quite sure the size yet but I'm probably going to just fill up this whole area and kind of see what happens from there probably the best practice is to just start off like this then I'll throw in the belt drive in the front here and then put the rest to be my cylinders all right that was a bit complicated but I did end up fitting a whole engine now placing the piping from the fuel manifold and adding it into the RPS. Okay, bear with me. We actually could use that as our fuel line. So I'm pretty sure if I did this, the RPS would transfer to the front wheels there as well as go to the tank. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this way I am blocking out the front wheels. And then my RPS only goes to here, but we'll have to do a test to find that out. The best way to find that out is also put gas tanks leading to the back axle. So in this case, if we get no power, then obviously this system doesn't work. But what I did this for is just to optimize how compact everything is. And then here we have a power takeoff. So the same RPS going to the wheels is actually also going to go to this node. And if I feel like making uh, future creations that use a power takeoff, then I can. And now begins the fun. So what I'm going to do is start ripping out interior pieces and microcontrollers from this little side by side. Starting with the instrument panel. I want the exact same type of driving system. I don't want to have like I want the space bar to operate both the uh transmission and reverse and park so that's kind of the easiest way i have it and the best place to put this large 
microcontroller. Hmm. It's somewhere in the back or along the side. Maybe, maybe this can just be down here. And then that serves as the largest one. The rest of the microcontrollers are a little bit smaller. Almost everything is moved over, actually. The only thing here remaining is the buzzer. And over here, I've placed, like I showed you, this one. And then we went ahead and placed some smaller ones there. Battery shoved this stuff in. And now it's looking much, much better. Now, I even put a trailer hitch. I'm not quite sure if I have to leave it like that, if that works with the power takeoff there. I do want a winch in the back. And that takes us to our first driving test. So here it is. Right now it's body's kind of done, whatever. But let's just see if it works. We'll power it up. Press space and W. Alright. So we are getting forward mo motion or movement. The thing is very torquey. The big wheels are applying a different level of torque from the front. But I mean it's moving. I guess the thing is it's moving. We got our lights. We got a light back there, the horn I have to move over, and we have the winch that's there in the back. The brake lights work. So basically, it's working. But for me, I would say we're only like 50% done. Half of the work comes after this in the fine details. Now we're not stalling, but we're constantly slipping out. So for this, there's pretty much no other way than XML modding. Now I have a video teaching you how to XML mod, but my recommendation is you set your grip to 99 everywhere, and then when you open up the XML, we can increase that to like 6.99, for example, giving us much more grip and traction. Now with the XML modding done, if I give it power, look at that, absolutely zero spinning out. The wheels are just working, and we have grip, and that grip is going to mean we could also tow more things. Now, it is a little grippy even on the turns, so you got to be a little careful there. But, wow, that is awesome. That is much better than I thought, especially considering the fact it was just slipping out with the wheels at first. What better way to test out our new strength on our tractor than when putting a thousand weight behind it? So now if we fire it up, hit space and go. RPS is climbing. So that is the torque I was talking about. We don't need to have a high speed. We just need to have the power to tow all kinds of heavy things such as this. Now I even did put the trailer uh, microcontroller so you can see the brake lights lighting up. And yeah, it's not easy for it, but it's going and the RPS are climbing. Now I just went crazy and put 2,000 mass. Oh. And it's still working with 2,000 mass. Perfect. So, in essence, this is how I expect wheels to behave. And especially something like this. Now, the it is weighted down, so that bottom is kind of bottoming out. So I may need to do something to lift it up a little bit. But overall, I'm quite happy with this. I'm actually very happy with this. The other thing that needs to get added, the other thing that needs to get added are the Q1 connectors. I want the tractor to have this style of Q1 connector. So there it is. And with that comes this control panel. Now, if you remember in this one, the seat actually has all the controls, but I do have a variant that relies on buttons. And the nice thing with buttons is it keeps the seat free for one, and for two, you have full customization on the buttons and just able to see. You look ahead and see what you have turned on. So now, oh, we still have this weight. Release that. Perfect. And then raise this. There you go. So now, we've lifted up this Q1 connector and we have the ability to control it, to rotate it, make its th options turn on if depending on what it comes with. I think this one just comes with the lights, lights and rotate. But you can see that we are able to do that now. 
Now I did see it struggling a little bit, so I do have to try this out as well. Because I don't want the thing to drop down, so if I lift this arm up, I want it to stay lifted. Now we're going to clip into the ground and kind of hit ourselves around, but for a small creation like this, I am happy. See, that's not what I'm happy with. I'm happy with the general usage of it, but yeah, that's going to need some looking into. I increased the wheel size, and it seems to be holding... Like, yeah, it's still kind of touching there and it may hit into stuff, but I might add more weight. And I might um, add more weight to the back as well, but yeah, it's holding at least. Now, one thing that I'm not a fan of is this dashboard cluster. I think I want to put this here and then move the Q1 stuff to the left. And that would just open up this area here for some styling elements something like this that I could then paint differently and make the in essence the instrument panel look different than the rest of the body the one color that all tractors kind of speak to me is green John Deere green and what I can do is make the wheels yellow again for that classic look play with some styling elements like this this roll bar probably just make it dark the seat go with a nice beige this kind of exhaust system and all of this stuff I want it to look like actual piping I made the underside all black so I redid the whole body is green and this guy is going to be called duty so we got the task and we got the duty and you can see overall the shape the color, the scheme, it's coming together quite nicely. I've rewired the electric, actually placing this new breaker. Previously that wasn't there. I prefer the ability to turn off the creation and have breaker panels where needed. And I do want to add lights on top for when you're carrying something and you don't want to be using... Well, you can't use lights up here. I'm going to add some lights up there. And we're going to put in the aiming microcontroller. And that will let us aim the lights in the positive direction. You can see here, if it aims positive, that is Y positive. And then it's going to kind of shine to the far left and far right here. Of course, I added the ability to be attached to trailers and stuff. So we have the R10 there. And we have these gas tanks. Now, currently... The gas tank information isn't fed to anything except the one, which I'm not a fan of. I actually want to be able to read how many, how much fuel I have. And I think placing this there doesn't look all that bad. It kind of looks like a seed or something. So I'm going to piggyback off this fuel location. And for the rest, so that's going to be the full fuel in. And then we're just going to take the fuel coming out of the tanks and attach it to that big microcontroller. That microcontroller is just adding it. It's very primitive, <laughs> just literally a bunch of ads. I moved the lights down here and put kind of a grill, made it look a little bit more mean up there. So we'll see how that all works. The duty there on the sides, we got the rat logo, the winch. I did put a little reverse light here and we got where the fuel gets filled up here we get where the electricity gets filled up so overall I think now it's looking pretty much completed now we're really gonna see what this thing's made out of so I went ahead and placed this whole hopper trailer that actually is full of minerals 3600 to be exact and let's attach a snowplow to the front And she's still going. So that is exactly what I wanted for this tractor. Very high torque. Doesn't have to be fast. But very much useful. So you can see we got the lights on. We have the ability to rotate the snowplow. We have the ability to tow very heavy things. And kind of just make this an all-around 
useful creation that you could have around the farm, around the shop, around the train yard, wherever you are in Stormworks, this thing should be able to come in handy and help you do whatever tasks you are doing or uh, whatever duties you may be having. This paints probably a better illustration, a tractor towing a whole truck on a flat deck trailer. And we're still climbing in top speed, I mean 20 kilometers an hour is not terrible all things told to be able to kind of move things around. Anyway, I do want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was as fun for you to watch as fun as it was for me to make this thing. Just, I love kind of cool creations like this, useful things, especially things that can be paired up with my other builds and creations. So I always love stuff like that. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And let me know what you think in the comments. I do want to make a larger tractor at some point, but for now this is kind of what I have. I think this is still a good size and the fact you can shove it onto trailers and into other stuff does make it nice. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Huge, huge shout out to all of my supporters. You guys are all going to get this tractor soon here, just so you could use it before the official release. And I do want to thank you for your extra contribution and your extra support. It really does mean a lot to me. And I do want to thank the whole community each and every one of you watching, participating, commenting, being in the Discord server, all that stuff. It is awesome to see, and I love being a part of it. Until next time, happy Stormworksing, everyone.